Hey everybody, I'm here at the CES show in Las Vegas in the West Hall. I'm standing in front of the Indy EV booth and I'm here with my friend Bobby who's going to tell me about the car that Indy EV makes. Hey Bobby. Hi, so what you're looking at here is the Indy One. Um, it is our company's flagship vehicle that we designed and built out of our headquarters in Los Angeles, California. So it's an all-electric vehicle, it's a five-seater crossover sedan. It's all-wheel drive with two motors inside of it. Um, you're looking at 410 horsepower, a 0-60 to 5.5 seconds, and a top speed of 130 miles per hour with 300 miles per range, 300 okay. miles of range on it. And as of right now, is this car in production, or is it just in the prototyping stages? Or So the specific build that you're looking at behind me is a driving prototype. Uh -huh. um, in quarter one of this year, we're going to be opening up our pre-orders, and then once we move uh, out of the pre-order stage, one year from then, so quarter one of 2023, is when consumers can expect deliveries on those first pre-orders. Gotcha, okay. So up here under the hood, we've got a porthole showing off our vehicle integrated computer, Vic. And so what this is, it's a supercomputer that we've built into the vehicle itself. It connects to two 15 inch screens inside of the car that I can show off a little later. Okay. And it's a super powerful PC that's on an open source platform. So anything you do on your computer at home, you can do inside of this vehicle. It's strong enough to run any video game on the market. It could mine cryptocurrency for you. You know, you can answer emails on the thing and anything in between. We've got 5G built into the car already, so it's got a really great connection uh, to make sure that you're connected and able to get done what you need to get done at all times. Okay. I like the, uh, the design of the front of the car here. It's got kind of this cool uh, light that goes all the way across from one side to the other. Yeah, we've got these really beautiful LEDs all around the exterior of the car including our uh, Indy badge up front and in the back. Those are both LEDs that are incorporated into the overall lighting system. Okay. And that sort of goes along with the ambient lighting system that we have inside of the car, which we have a panoramic sunroof uh, window on the top of the car. And that lets in a lot of natural sunlight during the day. And then as it gets dark outside to make sure you can still see what's going on inside of your car, we have a hidden ambient lighting system made up of LEDs that come up in intensity as the sun goes down to make sure you can always see what's going on. Very cool. So help me out, what does Indy EV stand for? So Indy EV stands for Independent Electric Vehicles. Okay. When we founded the company, uh, the sort of main idea that we were running with was we really wanted to maximize customizability and connectivity and give you the ability to do what you want to do and what you need to do inside of your car. Our slogan is we do cars, you do you and all of the design, design decisions that we've made with this vehicle have been in the pursuit of that, of that motto and making sure that drivers have ultimate control over their, their vehicle experience. These wheels we designed uh, in-house. You're looking at 22-inch wheels and they sit on a variable suspension system. So that means whether you're you know, cruising down the highway or you're trying to climb up a mountain, you're gonna be able to do it in comfort and safely with that variable system and those big comfortable ones. Okay. Now the car comes with two motors, correct? Yeah, so the car has a dual motor setup um, standard with it. So those are both three-in-one JJE motors, which provide a lot of power, a lot of torque. Um, those two motors together, like I said, pump out 410 horsepower. So you're gonna have a lot of get up and go no matter where you're going. So what's the, the virtual reality stuff for? Yeah, so our, uh, our founding team, as well as a lot of our software development teams, have their background in video game development. Uh -huh. uh, some of the biggest video games that have come out in the past 10 years. And so one of the earliest ideas that we had with the car was integrating video games into the overall experience of the car. And so specifically with the virtual reality, we have some of our software teams working on creating virtual reality experiences that are meant to be played by the passengers of the car while the car is in motion. And the experience integrates the, the overall motion and movement of the car itself and we've actually developed a proprietary technology that makes it sure that those match up perfectly to ensure that you don't get motion sick or anything like that while you're playing. Okay, that's unique. All right, can we walk around the back of the vehicle? Yeah, absolutely. Have they released any pricing for the car yet? Yeah, so pricing on this car, MSRP is gonna be $45,000. Oh, okay. It's a pretty good price. Yeah, absolutely. Seems like you get a lot for your money. We really wanted to keep the price accessible for, you know, young folks and families, uh, and make sure that no one was getting priced out of the vehicle. Right. So. Okay. Okay. Can we hop inside? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. 
very cool two-tone interior. That's the first thing that uh, caught my eye here. Yeah, Steering absolutely. wheel, too. And it matches up with the, uh, the two-tone exterior that we have as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. So with the steering wheel, what we've done there is we've condensed our ADOS system, your warning system, uh -huh. into the steering wheel itself. So this white circumference that you see going around the steering wheel, we have a system of LEDs based or er, uh, embedded into that. And so while you're driving, instead of your blind spot monitoring, your rear end warnings being spread around different screens and mirrors inside of the car, they're all directionally placed on the steering wheel itself. And so uh, those blind spot warnings are always in your peripheral vision, as well as there's some nonverbal uh, cues with some directional haptic feedback that we have built in the steering wheel itself to make sure that you get those warnings early, you're keeping your eyes on the road longer, um, and overall it's a safer ride for you and those around you. Okay. So what are some of the things that are on the uh, LCD panel right here? Yeah, so we wanted to bring back the sort of dashboard monitoring that a lot of modern EVs eliminated. We think that it's really important to have access to the most critical information right there in front of you as opposed to trying to find it on a big screen. We have a lot of screens in this car, um, and we thought that giving that sort of command center its own dedicated platform right there behind the steering wheel like cars of old have uh -huh. was really important to uh, ensuring the best experience overall for the driver of the car. Okay. And is this a, a LiDAR system I see here that tells if there's other uh, cars nearby? Yeah, so the car does have um, level 2, level 2 plus automation. Yeah. And so it has a lot of, you know, uh, lane monitoring, active lane assist, things like that. Um, one thing that we've done is we've built in a suite of cameras both inside and out of the car. So inside of the car we have two cameras built in. We have a wide angle camera up behind the rear view mirror and then we have a second camera in the back seat of the car that acts as a baby camera. Okay. And so specifically the interior cameras, those can do things like take zoom calls, act like a baby camera like I mentioned earlier or um, you can record straight to either the vehicle integrated computer or uploading st straight to the cloud for uh, for use later, you know, if you want to edit it into a video or post on, on Facebook or something like that. And then the exterior of the car, we have a series of cameras built into the exterior of the car that give you 360 degree coverage of the vehicle on the outside. And those do both utility, like I mentioned, like lane monitoring, as well as um, recording possibilities. Um, whether it be for you know something like a dash cam or sentry mode or for um, You know if you're a travel logger or something like that. These are 15 inch monitors Okay, and so what we've got going on here while you're driving uh, We don't want the driver to be distracted with all of the uh, technology that we have integrated into the car itself for entertainment purposes So what you see right here is a demonstration of what the uh, driver's screen will look like while you're driving and it will be sort of standard, you know, like radio control, uh, climate control, um, as well as notifications from our AI assistant, the Indy assistant, which we've developed to learn from your habits, your speaking, uh, to make sure that it gives you the best experience possible, as opposed to trying to integrate some third-party assistive technology, whether it be on board or through a peripheral. We have our own assistive technology that's built into the vehicle already. Okay. And then on this shotgun screen, we have the, the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a UI demonstration that we've made for the vehicle integrated computer. And we have this uh, UI here, but underneath this, it's sort of a standard desktop computer like what you would have at home, just incredibly powerful. And so with that and the open source nature of it, you can really do anything that you want. If you want to change up operating systems, if you want to download someone else's app, or with the software development kit we provide, if you wanted to code your own apps to better, uh, to sort of better tune the experience inside of the car to what you want and need, you can do that with all of the tools that we provide you, which is incredibly unique in the electric vehicle space. Every single other electric vehicle has a very closed source system where you have a small choice of apps that the manufacturer provides to you. And that's all that you have both for utility and for entertainment purposes. Whereas we give you the ability to completely top to bottom tune your entire experience. And then a few other features about the interior that we're really proud of. First off, this center console right here. Uh, it's a very, very big, very deep center console with all the uh, space that we freed up with this being an electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. The bottom of this thing has a refrigeration unit in it. Oh wow. And then it has stack shelving going up. And then right here, you're gonna have wireless charging for your cell phone. 
Okay. And then last but not least, up here on the roof of the car, in addition to having a tremendous amount of headroom, yeah. much more than you would get in a regular sedan, you have this really great panoramic sunroof window that lets in a ton of natural ambient lighting. Yeah. Um, and really sort of, you know, helps introduce a lot more natural light into the car, not only giving you better visibility, but giving you a more comfortable, a more comfortable ride. Okay, yeah, so. that's the best way to do it. Yep, and so that is the, uh, the Indy one. We're opening up pre-orders late quarter one of this year. And then after that pre-order period ends, people who pre-ordered within that time can expect their deliveries quarter one of 2023 with an MSRP of $45,000. Okay. And more information can be found on our social media. We're just at DriveIndy on everything or on our website, driveindy.com. Okay, great.